Hey everybody, let's we talk in this video about another data type, name it dictionary. And it is really, really important for you to understand it because it deals with HTTP calls and many things. So let's we start with dictionary by creating a new file and I name this file dictionary. So I say dictionary this way. Okay, then I click save. So what do you mean by dictionary? Think about you have a number of information about person, name, age, and the salary for example so how you will present this information so as you suppose i have person and this person have number of formation name age and as i told you salary so you will say a oh, cool dict i mean dictionary i have then you will open the bracket you say okay he have name and this way hopefully name and the name will be a cool for example hussein and you say semicolon the age Oh, cool. 27 for example and salary hopefully salary oh, cool. 80 is not my salary yeah so yes just some information about this person so if you see what we mean by dictionary you mean I have person and this person have number for information his name his age and his salary if I just click print here for person I would see all this information. I click right dictionary. You see this information I have it's salary, this one, age, this one, name, this one. If you see this is all the information I have, I have it about this person. The data type of dictionary should be immutable. So immutable. So what do you mean by immutable? You say this data could be changed. So it's really easy to change uh, any value have here. So let me think let me think about changing the name. After here, I want to print only the name. So first of all, let me print the name. So to print only the name, I just give it the key. I say, okay, I have the key name it. Open a bracket name, print it to me. Just click run. You will see the name is Hussein. How he did that? When I say, hey, from person, a print name, he will look for key name it name. He will go here. He see this key. So then he bring the value. If I want to print H, make sure I do it in the same way if capital capital is small small, you will go here and look for key name it H, he bring the value. So the idea behind the dictionary is, is just key and value. Think about it in this way. Think about it this way, really basic thing. So you have key and you have value. Every key have a specific value. For example, if you say I have a name and in the name I added Hussein, whatever. I have another name, age. I have whatever, just just not clear. So let me just make it more clear for you, so you would understand. I have a name, and this name you add Hussein, for example. Okay, it just key and value. So, uh, and he ha you have age as a key. You have value at twenty seven. You have salary as a key. You have value as 18k. So yes, this is basically how you define dictionary. So if you see all this dictionary under person name, so if you want to access to anything, just person for name, person for age, person for salary. So if you want to access the for age, he say person for age. If you want to access to name, he say person for for name. So if you just click on, if you see it, here the name Hussein. Yeah. What if you, we say this data is, is, is immutable, not immutable, is immutable, okay? Not immutable, sorry, immutable, so that means could be changed. So that means I could change the person name here. If I just say, hey, person name, change it to Hussein Arubai, hopefully. Then after this, after you change it, print the name again, okay? Hopefully now the name will be updated. See, he updated the name. So first he print Hussein. Then after I update the name, he Al. Hopefully I just write the, the type of the name correctly. So yes, so you see here first he print Hussein. Then when I update it to Hussein al Rubai, he just updates. So it's really easy to update any key. Also, it's really easy to add a new key. Think about you want to add a new key to the person. What do you think this key? Let me think about uh, insurance. Insurance. Okay, whatever. You say yes. So now 
if I just try, I would not print it add insurance here, I would add it here. Then after this one, I would just print the person. If you see that, and let's see, did he add the insurance? Here you go, here is it. So if you see first, I have three keys, salary, age, name, because this only I define it. But I easy to update Hussein to Hussein al -Rubai. If you see it, yeah, he take Hussein and change it to Hussein al -Rubai. And you see it, here's the name is Hussein al -Rubai. And also, it's easy to add insurance, yes, whatever. So yes, did you see how is this mutable? That means really easy to, to update key. To add a new key, also you could delete any key. So think about you want to delete the age. So you say, okay, person for age, I want to delete this one. Really easy, just write deal for this key. He directly will delete this key. If you just try to print again the person, you would see it. You will not see. You will not see. There is no age. So just add messages to make it clear. So you say here, print delete age just message it to show it either so here you say add insurance hopefully insurance changes spelling to insurance yeah add insurance key and you say here i have update name current update name here is the update, not here is. And yeah, that is. So if I just click run again to see, see this is my, uh, what I have it, name, age name, salary. I have Hussein, I'm just updating name to Hussein al -Rubai. I adding insurance, if you see here is the insurance. Then I delete the age, if you see there is no age here. So yes, this is basically how you work with dictionary. Make sure you're understanding very, very well. It's really, really easy. Just you define that your parameter name, your variable, you say define dictionary, you give key value, then semicolon key value, and you continue with your keys and values. When you want to add a new key, just directly say, give name, give the name of the key for that parameter and give it the value and you're done. You want to delete just say delete for that parameter or that variable and give a key name you will delete it directly for you when you want to read it really easy to read it did you see how it's easy to do all these things so last thing what if i want to ask you to print the salary so i say print salary how you do print for it hopefully salary here how you say it's really easy j okay print from the person I want the key name it's salary. If you don't have it, just take copy from it here and you print it. So yeah, now let me, here is it. Yes, if you see, here is the salary. So yes, here we done and hopefully you understand and uh, thank you for watching.